In recent years, Illinois has struggled with the loss in population. Do you see the current situation in COVID-19 having an impact on that? I really don't think it's going to elevate it more than we've seen in the last uh, several years. Uh, some of our research has, has shown that the degree to which people respond to uh, increases in taxes, for example, um, is very muted. Most people move out because of career changes. And what has really happened uh, is we have not had as many people coming in. And I think that's why the, the negative effects have, have increased. But I think uh, people moving for jobs right now is likely to be very depressed because I don't see job creation in, in any other states. And one thing that we're tracking right now is uh, a new uh, census uh, series that has increased its frequency of publication called New Business Formation. And um, almost every state is experiencing year over year declines with very few uh, increasing. And we are not doing any worse than any other um, uh, state in, in, in the country, at least for the last three or four weeks. In the short run, we, we're going to see a dampening of all migration in the country. I mean, people are going to stay put and just wait it out, in essence. Uh, but I think as we come out of this recession, how the state handles its fiscal issue is going to really make um, an important uh, choice for a lot of people who have the capacity to, to relocate a lot of businesses that have the capacity to relocate. So I think, I think this, this issue is, is going to uh, continue to plague us. And I wish I could say, I see uh, some evidence of, uh, of a recognition of this. I, I hear a lot of discussion, but I don't see anything fundamentally uh, uh, different that's changed. If COVID-19 has proven anything, it's that things can change quickly. How has that affected the data models Real has been using to use for forecasting? For us, this, as I said, except with the exception of Katrina, and when you have hurricanes or tsunamis, we have this dramatic physical destruction of, of infrastructure. You see nothing like this. And um, our infrastructure is not affected. It's, it's, it's a, a pandemic which is affecting humans rather than the physical environment. And I think as a result of this, uh, we are probably going to be even more cautious um, about our forecasting. And I think I mentioned a couple of months ago in our report that uh, the forecasts we were making there um, were based on the pre-COVID world, which looks very, very different than the post-COVID world. And so I think it's going to take our models a month or two before it finally begins to say, yes, we are we are in a period where there's, there's a lot of negative uh, entries from the, uh, from the economy and that's going to have an effect. Uh, but I think that the, uh, the good thing is the census is now being very helpful in, in producing these weekly data series that we're now going to latch on to our model to try to give us uh, at least monthly estimates uh, of major indicators that I think will be helpful. I think, I think if your realtors can sort of feed back to us uh, some comments and some, some feelings that, that people are expressing, that would be very, very helpful to sort of corroborate the macro data that we get uh, from the Census Bureau. And this helps us then focus on those parts of the model which are most likely to change.